Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, what's up, what's up? Mace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for our third week of NFL. It's taking place Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, that's God's day. It's the day we pray to God that these bets cash. Can I get a cash bet? Cash bet, hallelujah, more money to you. Let's get into this. Pat Fryermuth, ah, Fryermuth. Fryer, mute. Receptions over two and a half, uh, minus 125. Played it on DraftKings. FanDuel, same thing. Uh, use multiple books. Get the best lines, best odds you can. Always all line it back if you're spending more money. You know, say, well, can't really all line this one back. But, uh, yeah. Uh, still early in the season, not a lot of stats, data, or analytics to go off of. Uh, so I've been just basically using gut feelings and how I feel football is played and has been played in my 42 years on this earth. Yeah, I'm 42. It's crazy, right? But uh, receptions over two and a half. He's had eight receptions in his first two games, and uh, he's had eight targets. So he's 100%. I believe that, uh, I mean, Fields is still playing. So, to get a, you know, it's, even if it wasn't Fields, anybody for that matter, you get the quarterback going in the beginning of the game, they look for the easy plays, the check down or, you know, the tight end. Or it sometimes happens if they're trying to get an, a player involved that hasn't been involved, they look for him. So, we look for stuff like that, too. But, uh Fields, uh, Faramuth is definitely a safety blanket for Fields. Uh, two minute, two minute uh, drills, stuff like that, third downs. So, uh, should be an easy cash. Let's get it. Faramuth, two and a half receptions. Jalen Warren. Been playing him for a while, too, last year. Uh, his number did bump up a little bit, and I missed a little bump just now. It was a little lower last week. Uh, re uh, receiving yards over 14 and a half. The fuck, I got bumped again. I really got to get money into these other, this better MGM account. If you got a bet MGM, use it. They got it at 14 and a half. Otherwise, it's 15 and a half. FanDuel and DraftKings. Like I always say, if you knew the channel too, alt lines is the key. If you're spending a lot of money, alt line it back. You can't on here right, right now, but that's the point. You win less, but it's a better chance of winning. Uh, he's cleared this one out of two. Going against the Chargers. Um, running backs versus the Chargers last week. Uh, had decent receiving games. Uh, he's more of the receiving back. They got Najee Harris, which his number's at like five and a half. I was going to play it. But uh, he could easily go over that. He gets one or two uh targets a game whether he catches it or not that's usually it so if he does catch it he'll probably go over it but uh warren's the receiving back out the door so uh yeah i'm a rock with him uh same thing like fermi is two receptions two targets uh 100 percent for the year the guy can catch. Average yard per reception, nine and a half, six and a half the first game. Longest reception, 12 and nine. 
yards after the catch, 15, 19, which I don't understand. If it's yards after the catch, why is that his total number? Unless he had one reception and lost yards. I don't know. But uh, same theory with, with the tight end play. Uh, third down conversions, check downs, uh, just to get fields in rhythm. In the beginning of the game, right before the right before halftime, these plays uh, are key. Or uh, they get sealed up on the outside, and the receivers get sealed, and you got to throw it. But, I mean, he is a mobile back to our QB as well, so... He could take off, but uh, yeah, 15, he's going to get his targets at least two or three games. So uh, let's hopefully he goes over it. Let's get it. Warren, receiving yards. Uh, they got his receptions, I think, three and a half or two and a half. Two and a half for plus money, which is possible. But first two games, he's gotten two, two. So, uh, and his average yards per catch, and, you know, if he gets two, he should go over that number anyway. Uh, this is for last year. 24 overall, 30th to the running back position receptions. On Schultz. This is for uh, Houston at Minnesota. Donald Schultz, tight end, receptions over two and a half. Uh, played it on, I don't know where I played it. They got it on FanDuel, minus 122, DraftKings, minus 125. I said this many times before in the past, but if you're new, you see how it says FanDuel, minus 128? It's because a book's sneaky like that. They'll have... Uh, over two and Dalton Schultz over two and a half receptions, and it'll say like say minus one twenty two, and then they'll have Dalton. It'll say uh, three plus receptions, and then have a list of names: Dalton Schultz, whoever, blah blah blah, Nico Collins. Let's just say, and, uh, and they'll have different odds. And so sometimes you have better, sometimes you have worse. But uh, what I do is I use Outlier. Use a bunch of different sites, but outlier, and then I send it to the bet to the book. I send one to FanDuel. I send one to DraftKings. Excuse me. But then I look when I get it there. Then I I open it up and I look. And I go back and forth and I check each bet to see who has the best odds. And also sometimes it changes the line on you, or you know, or sometimes the line just changes as well. But uh. Yeah, that's what I do. But uh, yeah, Dalton Schultz receptions over two and a half. Juggled between his receptions or his yards. Uh, Minnesota got a good defense this year so far. So I uh, can't wait a couple weeks and get a couple weeks in and get some more stats up. Uh, first game he cleared there, second game for Chicago, which they got a decent defense too. You know, it's kind of good, it's kind of not. But uh, he didn't clear it. But uh, has exceeded two and a half in five straight games on the road. Goes back to last year. Targets, three targets first game, three the second game, but he missed one. He's uh, a decent part of, of the target shares. Fourth, then fourth, six targets. Um, Joe Nixon's had eight. But uh, same game plan, you know what I mean? They are uh, they're gonna try to lock down uh, Collins, Nico, and Diggs, and uh, doubt it's gonna happen. But they're gonna start putting more attention on them guys. Like I'm saying, they're gonna lock them down. But that'll open up the backs, the tight ends, as well as them. Like I've been saying, them key third down plays. Uh, I bet you in the beginning of the game, once they they go to digs in the beginning, they always. Uh, I'm a Bills fan, as you see, you already know that. But uh, you know he's a car baby, so you gotta get him involved and get him a couple catches before he starts crying. But uh, I used to bet that a lot in the Bills games. First, uh, 
first pass, first play, or digs to have a catch in the first four downs. But uh, yeah, Don Schultz, uh, tight ends that played in Minnesota uh, last week and a week before, able to get a few receptions, a few catches. So uh, he's a decent tight end. So let's get it. Denver at Tampa Bay. Uh, it's a million plays to, to pick from. You know what I mean? Like, I could have picked anything. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you got, uh, you got Evans. You got Godwin. You got everybody. Uh, I went with Javante Williams to run him back. The Broncos receiving yards over 14 and a half. Fandle, minus 113. This number did go down. Started at 19 and a half. It's now 14 and a half. I played it. First game, zero. Two targets, one reception. I guess he got popped at the line. Second game, he's got five receptions, 48 yards. Uh, I just see Bo Nix utilizing him. He obviously had a decent game with him. So uh, it's just like I've been saying, uh, just the way football is played. They you know, you try to get that quarterback warmed up, especially being a rookie. Uh, a couple easy passes, check down, little, little screens, as well as, like I've been saying, I'm like a broken record, right? The two-minute drill, but the end of the game, the end of the half, uh, third down conversions, or just a bone play or something, you know? But, uh, and with him having five receptions last game, 48 yards, I just... Uh, I feel like it's a comfort thing. So he'll be looking to see him again. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Javante Williams. Do me pro. Receiving yards over 20 and a half. Minus 110. Uh, you get it at 19 and a half, like minus 150. Which don't make sense to me. Although, you do end up hooking a lot. Uh... He's 50% with this. Last game, he didn't do that well. Uh, one reception, one target, one reception, five yards. Game before that, six receptions, six targets, 75 yards. Now, he's third on the... Uh, on the targets uh, chart. You got Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, both receivers, and then Rasheed White, the running back. So he obviously can catch. He's 100% in his catches. Uh, and then I also looked up the first two games for uh, Denver and the running backs that first them had quite a few receptions as well as quite a few yards. So uh, I know he's capable of doing it. And... It's just the theme I've been going with this whole season so far until we get some better stats and data, and it's been working. So uh, let's get it. Rasheed White, 20 and a half receiving yards. All right, same game. Uh, I went with Josh Reynolds receiving yards over 34 and a half. He's the wide receiver. For the Broncos, um, DraftKings minus 120. Now, this line did bump. You find it all different, but it did move since uh, it opened. Opened at 30 and a half. He, uh, first two games, 45 yards, first game, 93, second versus Pittsburgh. Eight targets, first game, five receptions, five targets, second game, four receptions. 
right. This year, he's second in targets for the year. So, uh, yeah, it just stuck out to me. Uh, he's, he's easily clearing it going way over, so I feel like they're going to stick to the same script and uh, try to get him the ball. Especially that many, that many targets, that many receptions, and the number being as low as it is, he was getting uh, average yard per reception. First game nine, second game twenty three. Longest reception twenty five yards, forty nine. The second game, so he's capable of going over this number in one catch, but. Uh, Yards after the catch, eight and eighteen. The first two games, so uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, of course, there's the other players I like. Like I said, Godwin and there's Evans. Uh, Evans is always a good TD play. Godwin too. Uh, I'll probably end up just like I've been doing. I always make little TD parlays, bet a low amount. Uh, Put a couple together, mix and match them. As well as uh, seeing game parlays for certain games that I'll tune into. All line the numbers way down. Uh, I came real close to hitting them yesterday. If uh, Stevenson would have got a touchdown, I had Lazard, uh, Wilson, uh, Hall, and Stevenson's running back on the uh, fucking Patriots and. Uh, I had them all mixed up, a couple of different ones, and he, he ruined like three different parlays to me, as well as a big same game parlay I dropped in the community. If he would have done his end, it would have been nice. And I only sprinkle a little bit of money. I'll bet 10 or if I, 10 15 $20. But, uh, I mean, my unit size right now is only $25. That's what I've been betting forever. I think uh, I'm about to change it. I'm about to compound it and just double it up and uh, start betting less plays. But uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so Reynolds, let's get it. Keep it up, boy. Tony Pollard is the running back. Receptions over two and a half. Uh, a little bit of juice, minus 155. All the way up to minus 175. So definitely uh, line shop, book shop, odd shop. Saying the other running backs are questionable spears, so they might use a different back. If that's the case, right when the game comes out, they might drop lines and they'll be low. So it was a good place to look for. But our uh, first two games, both uh, three receptions. First game, five receptions. Second game. Uh, first game, four targets, three receptions. Second game, six targets, five receptions. Uh, all these plays, like I said, you know, the, the gut feelings where I feel the games are going to go, or the way games do go. But as well as I looked into whoever they're playing, like see, it's Tennessee, so I looked into Green Bay's first two games and how running backs did versus them and things like that. And, uh, you know, all the plays look good to me. Uh, well, I, well, I got you here. Hit that like button and uh, new viewers, hit that subscribe button. Let's turn the notifications on. That's where you get all my plays, my live bets. Anything I do, I try to be as transparent as possible. If you could leave a comment, likes and comments, help get the videos out there. I appreciate everyone. Uh, yeah, so Tony Pollard, uh, receptions over two and a half. Let's get it. Jeed Shaheed, uh, you can go anyway with him, but uh, I decided to do longest reception over 21 and a half. Uh, minus 125 on DraftKings. He's on the Saints as Philly. He'll be playing uh, Philly, playing the Saints. Saints will be home. Easily killed this. Uh, Carr's been finding him. 
59 was a long reception in the one game. Second game, 70. So uh, easily deep threat. Uh, he's been getting a decent amount of receptions. Three receptions, five targets. Second game, four out of four. Uh, plenty of yards after the catch. Average yards per reception, 24. So, which is longer than the 21. But uh, his reception yards, you could play two, which I was going to play both of them, but I decided to go with the longest reception. They got a 47. Uh, 47, yeah, 49, 50. It varies, but uh, line movement went up a little bit. But he's been killing it. Carl's been, Saints been doing real well. And uh, Carl's been looking real good. And uh, catching these receivers. You got a lot of A2. You got a couple of plays you can go with. But uh, I just feel like this 21 and a half is too low. Obviously, he's been killing it. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. Rashid Ch and Kamara. Had a crazy game, uh, four touchdowns, bunch of yards, uh, playing Philly. I'd expect Philly to bounce back. Uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, I ended up going with his yards over 59 and a half, minus 148, FanDuel. Got it all the way up to 187. First game, 83. Second game, 115. Uh, plenty of rushing attempts, 15 and 20. Another reason why with the last play with uh, Sharid, whatever his name is, uh, I did the longest recession because... Uh, Carl only threw the ball like 15 times last game. The game before that, he didn't throw it much more than that. It was around the same. So, I mean, they played the Panthers and uh, in Dallas, and they got up on both of them, so they ran the ball a lot. So, I mean, it could happen again. I don't think they're going to play from behind. They've been playing really good. But that's why I stayed away from Michael Ave and all the – the receiving yards, as well as Kamara, I was going to play his receptions or his reception yards. But I just figure if they get up, they're going to just pound that ball, and uh, he's going to go over this yards. So, oh, and the other teams that played uh, Philly, uh, Falcons last game, B. John Robinson had, had a decent game. Uh, I forget the team before that, but they had a decent decent running game too. So I expect him to easily clear this. He should be up around 80, 90. He could go more. All right. So uh, Cole Komet, receptions over two and a half. Minus 115, DraftKings. Uh, first game, he did not go over this. Second game, he did. He was uh, four for five in the last game. I believe he was one for two in the first game. One for one. So he's only missed one pass. Uh, the tight ends that versed Indiana the first two games got a couple receptions, decent amount of yards. So, uh, as well as Williams, uh, you know, he's in over his head a little bit. I mean, he's trying to figure it out. I'm sure he'll get better, but uh, can't really throw a long ball uh, accurately enough. Uh, I feel like the the short routes to the tight ends, to the running backs, stuff like that. Uh, you know, safety, safety plays, security blankets, uh, as well as him hitting him, you know, four times last game. I feel like he built a little connection. He's going to look for them plays. 
as well as they're going to do them short plays. It's like I've been saying this whole slate. Short plays to get them in rhythm, you know, get a couple throws on the belt, a couple catches, and this way you can try to throw a long ball. But, uh, yeah, let's get it. Commit. Receptions, two and a half. All right, the last stop, last stop, last stop. Alec Pierce receiving yards over 24 and a half. Uh, got bumped up a little bit to odds. Might be able to get a different number. Uh, I played it at like 160. Uh, receiving yards over 24 and a half. First game, 125 yards. Second game, 56. Uh, Chicago at Indiana. Same game as before. He's exceeded 29 and a half. That's, that's still where it's at. I feel like minus 110. So you can play that if you want. Uh, four of the last five games, averaging 53. Uh, first game, three targets, three receptions. Second game, seven targets, five receptions. Uh, Chicago got a decent defense, but, you know, between uh, – man, he's easily been going over it, as well as teams that played Chicago to receive his guy a couple of yards. Nothing crazy. But uh, Colts got Pittman Jr. Uh, Pierce, uh, you know, tight end and a couple other people, obviously. But uh, I expect him to go over it. I know it's a lot of plays, so uh, – Bet wisely, like I said, I've been saying this whole year, I bet $25 to play. So, uh, usually around two two fifty a day, it depends. But uh, these are all the 1 o'clock games. So, once that recycles, uh, I will have a couple plays for the 4 o'clock and then 8 o'clock game. But uh, it's just the way I do it. Uh, uh, it's what works for me. So, you know. But uh, I appreciate everyone. Let's get that money. This money, the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go.